Folks, folks, listen to me. Psalm 103 talks about how slow to anger the Lord is. Hebrews 13 says he will never leave us nor forsake us. Titus 1 says the Lord does not lie. Malachi 3 says he does not change. Listen, angels are a Bible topic that I'm really interested in. I have wanted to meet one. I've wanted to talk to one. I've wanted to hear one. When I asked the Lord to let me see one a few weeks to a month ago, after he had me pray in tongues, he opened my eyes, and, and I saw one here in my room for just a few seconds at the longest a minute. And, and the other day, I was, I was researching angels on YouTube. I was watching a video by, by a preacher I like called Sid Roth on his talk show called It's Supernatural. I was watching one of the, one of the many, many, many episodes on his show where he interviews someone about how to partner with angels. Well, the other day, the Lord was talking to me about don't do that. And, and ever since then, I've been a little concerned that I might have made him mad at me. Well, listen, Psalm 103 talks about his mercy. Hebrews 13 says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Titus 1 says, he does not lie. So folks, listen, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He does not lie and he is merciful. Psalm 103, Hebrews 13, Malachi 3, and Titus 1. They will all prove to you that you cannot leave, uh, I meant to say, they will all prove to you that you cannot lose your salvation. The Lord loves you and he will never, never leave you. Malachi 3 says he does not change. Hebrews 13 says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And Titus 1 says he cannot lie. So, folks, believe me, he will never leave you, and he will forgive you. First John 1 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and, and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Let me know if this video helps you and how much it does, but other than that, never thank me.